This is part 13 of a very important read of an article that Dane Wigington posted on his site, geoengineeringwatch.org. Air Force officer warns Americans about the atmospheric spraying and the coming collapse. If you don't want to listen, just click on the link below and read this very important information that this Air Force colonel is imparting to Americans so that they can prepare for the collapse that is coming. If you don't want to read it and want to listen to it, unfortunately I'm having great problems uploading, but I am uploading every part. If you haven't heard part 1 through 12, go back on my channel, listen to them, and come back and listen to part 13 where I pick up right here in the military. Each individual is assigned a job called an MOS, Military Occupational Specialty. The U.S. Army has recently started advertising to recruit individuals to fill a new MOS 31E. This MOS is described as an internment resettlement specialist. You may be interested in perusing a couple of Army training manuals that were leaked about a year ago. They're available on the internet. They are 31940, 33940. The first is written for military police, the second for detention center personnel. Note the dates of publication on both of these manuals. Manual 33940 discusses the classification of detainees. Physicians and clergymen, or women, will receive somewhat preferential treatment compared to the rest of the detainees. However, preaching or teaching by ministers or rabbis will not be permitted. All will be expected to work without pay. Sound a little like Germany in the 1930s and 40s? Department of Homeland Security has purchased and or ordered nearly two billion rounds of ammunition. The Department of Homeland Security story is that these cartridges are for target practice. The only problem with that little untruth, no, it's a lie. I hate when people say untruth, it's a lie. The only problem with that lie is that the ammunition they have purchased uses a special kind of bullet, the part that leaves the gun. It is known as a hollow point. Hollow point bullets have an opening in the center of the top of the bullet. Its purpose is to allow the bullet to expand upon contact with tissue, muscle, bone. This not only increases wound size, but it increases hemorrhaging at the wound site as well. Hollow point bullets are not used for target practice. These are unquestionably anti-personnel bullets designed with the intent to kill. These are not new. They are still not permitted under the terms of the Geneva Convention. Target ammunition is much less expensive. It typically has a round or slightly pointed solid surface to punch a clean hole in a paper target. A variation of a target bullet involves one that has a smaller diameter, blunt tip with a small flang, flange that runs around the circum circumference of the bullet about halfway down its length. The idea is that as this bullet passes through a paper target, it acts much like a paper punch or cuts a clean round hole to facilitate accurate scoring. These target bullets are referred to as wad cutters or semi wad cutters. This information coupled with the fact that Department of Homeland Security is supplying guns and ammunition to the Postal Service, Social Security officers, offices, IRS offices, and other federal agency offices frequented by the public suggests a more sinister purpose for the purpose for the purchase of hollow point bullets besides target practice. This is enough ammunition to kill every American man, woman, and child six times. Most of us, whether we fly or not, are becoming increasingly aware of the change in the attitude and aggressiveness of Department of Homeland Security TSA agents as they view and pat down passengers. According to one report from another federal investigative agency, the names of 82 Department of Homeland Security employees were identified on their own no-fly list of suspected terrorists. How is that for accurate and effective vetting? The next time you are driving in a heavily traveled part of your city's downtown area, look at the tops of electric traffic signals 
Do you see a tube facing in your direction of travel? This is a forward viewing camera and it is intended to capture a frontal view of you and your vehicle. The meteorological tampering being affected by our military is but one portion of a march, much larger plan in which most Americans are not expected to survive. Because of its cost effectiveness, leaders at the United Nations and the New World Order have decided that the use of deadly biological agents and starvation are the two most cost effective approaches to depopulation. Remember, this is a colonel of the US Air Force writing this. You may be familiar with the results of studies by various universities and medical schools with respect to the medicines used in commonly administered flu shots. One component that I recall is mercury. Ask your favorite neurosurgeon or neurologist about the effects of one, the contents of chemtrails, and two, mercury on the brain, particularly the developing brain and nervous system. I would also encourage you to learn about the elemental, chemical, and biological contents of the tons of material that have been blanketing our country for several years. I promise you it will be an eye-opener. God bless you and yours, and God bless America. Yours in liberty, Colonel Randall Smith. I'm going to put all of these parts together and post it on my backup channel so that people can listen to it all in one video. But given that this is written by a colonel of the Air Force, please, please circulate it. It's coming, guys. The collapse is coming. And my gut feeling tells me it's this year. And as he wrote in this article, there are many speculating that it will be f before the election in November. The link is below. Ciao, guys.